What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the first episode of Pokemon 101, I guess. This will be, uh, this will be my opening episode. I've uh, debated a lot about how I wanted to open the series, what I wanted my first real um, Pokemon 101 video to be, because I had that prediction video, and that was just sort of like a concept idea. It was, um, or a concept video. It was more to sort of to get the idea out there. Uh, and kind of gauge how you guys got, gauge your guys' reaction, how you guys would respond to it, whether or not you guys would be interested in it. In it. Um, but this is the first real episode here. Um, and like I said, I've been, I'd been debating on what I wanted to start out with, if I wanted to do like a, a super, super, super basic intro video, but I decided I was going to do, uh, I was going to kind of leave the basics, um, I put it I leave the basics the super basics out of this um, I'll explain you know some terms and things like that if you've never heard these th things before um, EVs IVs natures things like that um, but the super super basic stuff I feel like there's just better guides out there like um, explaining you know what EVs really are how to EV train things like that um, this is gonna this is gonna be more of a series for like the more um, competitive basics really like once you've actually started to to play um, helping you get more into that and as such I decided that this first episode was going to be on team building um, team building team synergies things like that I've got I've even before I was doing this I used to get a lot of PMs um, people asking me to help them build teams and things like that back when I actually was playing Pokemon and before I stopped for like three months straight. Um, let me first and foremost say that team building is both one of the easiest and most difficult things for most players. Um, there's a lot of things to consider when building a team. Um, and generally for newer players it's actually one of the harder things to do. They don't really know what they're doing with their teams and things like that. Um, to that end, I've brought or I've created, I, I just quick built here, probably one of the most basic OU super meta teams um, from the Pokemon OU meta game, and it's it's very basic, it's very simple, there's not a lot of depth to it, but it's extremely powerful, don't let it underestimate, don't underestimate this team just because I'm saying it's very basic. Um, I don't consider this the best team, but it is a team um, you will be seeing a lot of if you if you jump into uh, competitive fifth gen. You may see some variations of it, but generally this is one of the m the most common teams you will see here. And obviously it is a rain team. You can see I have Politoed there at the beginning. Um, so let's jump right into it. Um, obviously you can't see the whole team here. Um, the team is Drizzle Politoed, uh, th th Thunderous. Therian, Thunderous T, as it will be known from now on, um, Keldeo, Ferrothorn, Thorn, Jirachi, and Latios. Um, this is a team I myself have never run. I've known of it. I've known of these sort of teams. I've just never bothered. I don't really like 5th gen teams, as I've expressed before. <coughs> I mean, obviously I've made 5th gen teams. Um, you've seen me make a couple of them. I had that Sun team, things like that. But in general, I'm not a huge, huge fan of the 5th gen Pokemon, but let's get into it real quick. As you can see, none of my Pokemon currently have um, moves or anything like that. I'll get into explaining that, explaining why later. Um, but let's talk about this team real quick. This team um, basically encapsulates what it means when you want to make a team, when you, uh, the, the base objectives for making a team. Um, those things are team synergy, um, I don't know what a good word for this is without using the word synergy again is, um, but proper type combinations, I think is a good way to put it. Um, and proper team support. Um, those all kind of run, when someone says team synergy, that tends to be what they mean. They mean, um, good type coverage and good team support. Um, the Pokemon on this team all support each other very, very well. Um, but they can act without each other as well is another big thing. They're they're independent, but together they are also very powerful. Um, 
so let's jump right into it. When you're building a team, one of the first things uh, you need to consider is um, your typing, really. Um, well, yes. I was about to go off on a tangent, but that would have been a bad idea. Um, when building a team, you generally want to have a diverse amount of typings, or if nothing else, you want to have typings that that cover each other's weaknesses. One of the most common one of the most common things in um, in Pokemon is known as the Fire Grass Water Core, um, which this team does not currently have. But um, generally, it's a it's a combination of three Pokemon: one being Fire, one being Grass, and one being Water. Um, I have it on my Sun team. That is Gyarados, Roserade, and Heatran. The idea being that those three types cover each other's weaknesses extremely well. Um, fire resists grass, grass resists water, water resists fire. Um, they cover the uh, water being uh, fire is weak to water, water is weak to grass, grass is weak to fire. They cover each other's weaknesses basically. Um, there's also the added benefit of things like um, fire resists ice, which grass is weak to, as does water. Water resists ice, which grass is weak to. Um, Grass resists electric that water is weak to. That's the basic idea there. When you're building a team, you want to think of things like that. How your Pokemon um, defensively benefit each other. Now, this team obviously does not use uh, a fire, grass, water team core, but that is because this is a, a rain team. A fire type Pokemon is generally not useful on a team like this. Um, instead, it, uh, instead, its defensive core is... Ferrothorn, Jirachi, and Latios, basically, with a little bit of Thunderous in there. Um, the idea is, obviously, Politoed is the backbone support of this team. Drizzle is what makes this team. Rain is what makes this team. Um, and as such, Drizzle needs to support everything else that you're using. Well, you've got a you've got an Electric type Pokemon that pawn that would now that an Electric type Pokemon that will now be able to use. Stab 100% accurate Thunders, which is extremely good for it. You've got obviously Water Pokemon that can take advantage of their powered up Stab. You have Steel type Pokemon that can that uh, take benefit from the lowered power of Fire type attacks, and you have Latios because I mean seriously Latios, it's pretty broken. Let's be honest here. Um, but going the other way around. Uh, You've got two Pokemon, obviously, that are very weak to Electric-type attacks. You've got Politoed and Kaleo. Um, Politoed can be pretty bulky, but even then it's not taking stab Electric attacks very well, and Kaleo is very rarely bulky and will generally die to one very strong stab Electric attack. Which is what brings us to Thundurus. Thundurus has the ability Volt Absorb, meaning he gains 25% HP any, uh, anytime he's hit by an Electric attack. This is, this is the obvious support for your Water-type Pokémon. Um, a Pokémon that is literally immune to Electric-type attacks. Um, but you also have Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn being a Grass-type and having considerable bulk, even on the special side, obviously can take Electric attacks extremely well, well too. Um, then you have Jirachi and Latios. Jirachi does not resist Electric attacks, but Jirachi has considerable bulk. Um, base 100... Uh, base 100 defenses and all in HP, defense and special defense is nothing to scoff at. Even, like, even uninvested, those stats are still very usable. Um, and then you have Latios, who also resists electric, electric type attacks. Um, and again, has very, very good special bulk. Um, and then you also have to consider your grass weakness. Well, Politoed and Kaleo might be weak to grass, but you have four Pokemon, count them, four that are not. Thundorus, Ferrothorn, Jirachi, and Latios are all resistant to grass. Um, moving down, you have to think, well, what is Thundorus weak to then? Thundorus is weak to stone and ice type attacks. Stone? Rock? And ice I'm sorry, I'm way too used to the move Stone Edge. Um, rocks and ice. But obviously water resists ice. You have two, you have two ice resists right here. But then you also have Jirachi, who uh, resists ice. Um, Ferrothorn is neutral to it, however, however, because of his uh, dual typing. Um, as for rock-type attacks, Keldeo being a fighting type is resistant to it, Ferrothorn is resistant to it, Jirachi is resistant to it. 
you have great team coverage there. That's the idea when you build a team. Nothing on your team too weak to one thing or the other. Um, Ferrothorn with its ridiculous typing is only weak to fighting and fire, but it it loses part of that fire fire weakness due to Politoed's Drizzle. For those who don't know, Drizzle brings in permanent rain. Rain reduces the uh, the power of fire type attacks by 50%. Um, <coughs> so things like unstabbed HP fire are not going to KO Ferrothorn. It's just not going to happen. This is the same for Jirachi. Jirachi um, is only weak to ground and fire type attacks. However, because of the because of permanent rain, it basically loses one of those weaknesses. Um, this makes Jirachi an extremely powerful Pokemon in the rain. Um, Latios does not benefit as much from the rain. Um, Dragon Mono Dragon only has two weaknesses: it's Dragon and Ice. However, you have a lot of Ice resists on your team, and you got at least two Dragon resists. The only thing that resists Dragon is um, Steel, but you have two Steel type Pokemon. There is great team coverage here. That should not be underestimated. Uh, this team can very easily support each other. Each other. Um, obvious attacks tend to be the worst choice against a team like this. If you're making the obvious move, you're just going to give your opponent a free switch. Um, now, as you <coughs> as you noticed, I don't have any attacks, any items, anything like that on these teams, or any EVs, really. Um, building a team, uh, these, these things can change. There's multiple sets that any one of these Pokemon can run. Um, and as such, I didn't really just... I didn't build a team and say this was how it would be done. I'd prefer to show off all the things they can do. Um, there's a couple different sets you will see for pretty much any of these Pokemon here. And generally what what one set, uh, what one Pokemon runs um, dictates what the other Pokemon run. Um, Politoed has three main sets. It has a bulky set that uses Protect, Scald, Hypnosis, occasionally, it's not always Hypnosis. Sometimes it's also Parish Song. Um, we'll put it on Parish Song for right now, and then Ice Beam. Uh, this again can also change. It is, with, in very, very rare occasions, I've seen it be HP Electric, but it's very, very uncommon. Um, as you can see, um, Pokemon Showdown automatically uh, tries to guess what set you're going for here, and it sets my EVs. Um, now this is going. Now I'm going to take a small break real quick to talk about this for um, the really new players. Um, in Pokemon, there are these things called EVs. They that stands for effort values. Um, in game, when you're actually playing the game, you earn effort values whenever you defeat a Pokemon. Um, like, for instance, uh, Bidoof gives one HP EV. That's just something I know offhand. Or Ghastly gives uh, one, one special attack EV. Things like that. Um, every Pokemon has different EVs that it, that it yields when you defeat it. Um, four... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Four EVs um, equates to one extra point in whatever stat you get it in. Uh, when that Pokemon reaches level 100. Um, so let's say you have uh, 100 EVs in defense. Note that I'm currently at 186. Well, if we give you 100, it's now at 2 to 11. That's 25 points higher. Um, each Pokemon can only have up to 510, even though it says 508 here, it's 510 EVs, and only a maximum of 255 in any given stat. However, 255 is not divisible by 4, so the greatest number you'll want to put into any stat is 252, which is why that's what um, Pokemon uh, or Pokemon Showdown defaults to right here. Um, so as you can see here, uh, because I have a very defensive set of Politoed, it says physically defensive. It automatically sets me to maximum, which is 252 EVs for HP, 252 EVs for defense, and the remaining 4 put into... Um, special attack. Uh, one more time going on to to um, the very, very basics. I will not talk basics past this, really. Um, is the nature. Um, 
again, you might have seen this when you play, um, if you play Pokemon in-game, it'll say, you know, bold nature, adamant nature, hasty nature, naive nature, nature things like that. Um, natures are another thing that affects stats. Um, there are four natures that give nothing, bashful, docile, hardy, and quirky. Oh, and serious, there's actually five, I thought there was only four. Um, <coughs> Every other nature gives plus 10% in one stat and minus 10% in another stat. Um, that seems kind of like you'd think, well, I'd want to use like the ones that don't do anything, right? Because then I won't lose 10% in anything. But generally in Pokemon, there's nothing that's going to be wanting to use that's going to want to use all of its stats. Um, few ex there are a few exceptions, but generally there's always going to be something that doesn't have a stat to use. Like for instance, Politoed does not run any physical attacks. So it can always use one of the natures that does minus attack and then plus anything else. Um, the only thing that a nature cannot increase is HP. There's nothing that gives plus 10% HP. So for instance, we have bold, which is plus defense and minus attack. So we get plus 10% in um, in defense. So back to the <laughs> back to the actual team. Sorry about that that tangent, but I just wanted to go over that before I start talking about EVs and natures and things like that for the rest of the team. Um, If you're running a Politoed like this, um, generally it's going to be, or not generally, it's always going to be leftovers as the item. You're going to be, uh, you're going to be changing up how you run the other teams. Now this Politoed is made to survive for a while, um, which is generally, <coughs> generally a good thing when you're running up against other weather users. You have, a, you've got that extra bullock. The other weather users won't be able to take you down as quickly. You can win that weather war. Um, because of this, um, because of this, generally when I see a bulky Politoed, I see, um, Choice Scarf Thundurus. Um, there are a few other sets, sets that, uh, Choice Scarf, there, that Thundurus runs. But this is one I see more commonly with Politoed, uh, with bulky Politoed. This po- this, eh. This Pokemon is generally more used for scouting. Um, Volt Switch always. Thunder. Um, there it is. Focus Blast. And then generally you have a filler hidden power. Usually it's hidden power ice. Um, to get the drop on dragons and things like that. But I've seen I've seen plenty of others, but this is what we're just gonna go with for now. Um, Generally, when running Bulky Politoed, this is actually the Pokemon that leads. People will ru lead with Choice Scarf um, Thundorus, and then it can either get a free hit on something because it's faster, or it can just Volt Switch on a, on a Switch and bring in Politoed um, or any other Pokemon, really. Um, it basically allows you to get Politoed in free to set up that rain. Um, and that's how that's essentially how it synergizes with with Politoed, it's it's its um, lead-in, really. It's your um, it's your safety net, really. Um, because of that, Choice Scarf uh, gives plus fifty percent speed. You want to max out your speed. You've got uh, max EVs with a plus speed nature, and then obviously you've just got max special attack because this is a special attacker. Um, however, I have also seen um, this set with. Um, with uh, Thundorus. This is a uh, this is a mean set right here. Um, Lumberry Lumberry Nasty Plot. Now Nasty Plot gives you plus two in special attack. Um, obviously Thundorus already has a monstrous special attack stat with that uh, 145 base special attack. Um, this, this set feigns Choice Scarf to give it a free setup turn, you know, it gives it a free nasty plot. Obviously, Thundorus is immune to um, Thunder Wave, so it's very it's very unlikely you'll see it get paralyzed. But it still runs the Lumberry in case of things like Burn, Poison, or Paralysis from something like Body Slam Jirachi. Um, this is another very common set to see with uh, Bulky Politoed, <coughs> um, and I've seen two variations: the ones that run Hidden Power Ice or the ones that run Substitute which is subplot, nasty, uh, thunderbolt, thunder, and focus blast. 
Um, with this set, you generally run into this Pokemon being Choice Scarfed, Keldeo. Um, this has sort of become the, the only Keldeo set. Um, there are others, but generally you'll run into this one the most. Um, uh, where is it? There we are. Haha, I knew I was running Choice Scarf. Um, Hydro Pump, Secret Sword, Surf, uh, Hidden Power, Ice. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Secret Sword is a special type fighting attack, but it hits against the, uh, the defense stat, not the special defensive stat. Um, this has sort of become the go-to fast Pokemon for rain teams. Um, very infrequently will you see anything other than Choice Scarf Kildeo on rain teams. And in fact, um, <coughs> um, because of this, you'll actually see a lot more um, Lumberry uh, Thundorus because generally players don't want to um, don't want to overcommit to, to choice items. You don't want too many choice items on one team. Um, choice Scarf Caldeo is extremely powerful, especially in the rain. Hydro Pump is an incredibly powerful move in the rain. Um, It'll even, like, two-hit KO some Pokemon that, that resist it just because of how ridiculously powerful it is. It'll one-hit KO a lot of Pokemon that are neutral to it as well. It's an exceptionally dangerous move. Um, but Surf is usually there as well just because sometimes you need you need to know you're not going to miss. And Surf is still very, very powerful under the ring. Um, Secret Sword turns Kaleo into a pseudo-wall breaker. Uh, it, it gets through Blissey pretty well. Um, because it's, it hits Blissey's super low defense stat, but still comes off that really high special attack stat. Um, it's also a guaranteed one-hit KO on, um, on all Tyranitars. Um, Surf sometimes will not be. Hydro Pump usually is, um, if it gets the sand up. But Secret Sword is 100%. Um, Keldeo has a terrible, terrible, terrible move pull, though. So it, it's very frequently going to be, uh, relying on Hidden Power Ice or Hidden Power Electric as its, as its final move. Um, now, no matter what you're running for the rest of these Pokemon, or what your opponent is running, generally you're always going to see the same Ferrothorn. It's Leftovers, Leech Seed, Spikes, uh, no, no, not, not Power Whip, not Power Whip. Not, jeez, I'm doing bad at this. Gyro Ball and Protect. <coughs> this is unquestionably the most common set. I almost never run into anything that's not running this. In fact, at most, um, at most the only thing that changes is Gyro Ball becomes Power Whip. Um, but that's about it. Um, there are a lot of Ferrothorns that run Thunder Wave, but generally you won't see it too much on Rain Teams. Um, because rain teams have a slightly harder time putting in stealth rockers on their team. Um, it's not that they can't, it's just a lot of the more common stealth rock Pokemon are either, um, they don't synergize well with the team or they're weak to water. Um, not that you won't see plenty of, like, this is not, this is, with, like, I need to make, make this absolutely clear. This is not the only... Um, rain team. You will see variations of this exact team. Things like no Latios, no Jirachi, um, occasionally no Thunderous, but that's very un uh, infrequent. But at the very least, this is the most common Ferrothorn. Um, Ferrothorn does not le learn its learn its own healing move, so it has to rely on Leech Seed. But Leech Seed plus Protect can uh, get it quite a bit of HP back. Occasionally, you'll see it running Rocky Helmet. Uh, but it's it's infrequent. Generally, leftovers is superior. Um, is superior. Now there's a uh, there's also uh, really only two Jirachis you'll ever run into on um, on a rain team. Uh, generally, if you're playing against a more you know bulky Politoed, Lum Thunderous, Scarf Kildeo, the Jirachi you're gonna run into is. Um, Leftovers, Calm Mind, Thunder, um, 
wow, I can't spell for Psy Shock and um, Substitute. Um, this is more common for the uh, the defensive type, the defensive, the defensive rain team. Um, Thunder obviously 100% accurate in the in the rain, and Psy Shock gives Jirachi something to get past um, Blissey. Combined Jirachi is an unreasonably dangerous Pokemon. This thing can sweep entire teams on its own if they're not prepared, because in the rain it's only weak to ground. Um, and base 100 speed is... Oh, I forgot to set the EVs for this. Sorry. There you go. Defensive. That's pretty much what you're going to run into. Um, most people don't run specially defensive uh, um, Ferrothorn, but I have seen things like... Um, what is it? I want to say it's... I can't remember. It's 64... 188, something like that. I can't remember. Um, I have seen... Oh, hold on. Um, where is... <coughs> Wait, why are there... Why are there four tacky bees? Um, sorry. Got off on a really bad tangent. Well, got off on a really bad tangent here. But, um... Where is... Plus special defense, minus special attack. Uh, oh, no, there it is. You go minus speed for that gyro ball. Um, I've seen this, and then I've seen... Right, sassy, I always forget that. Um, and then I've also seen... Um, uh, where is it? I don't remember my natures very well. I, I apologize, guys. Um, I can't remember what nature does what. Generally, I have to actually look it up. Relax, there we go. I've seen both of these. Um, I have seen th these kind of sets, the uh, the max HP, the the mixed defenses. It works extremely well. Um, Jirachi generally, um, there's a couple ways it can EVs. Gen EV generally it will will do. Um, uh, actually, I don't like this suggested the suggested set. Generally, what I see is this. Uh, when I see bulky combine Jirachi, um, it seems strange to have max HP and max speed, um, but it makes sense in that Jirachi can. Jirachi has two things going for it. It's it's great typing and bulk, um, <coughs> and the fact that once it's once it's set up, it can literally one hit KO pretty much everything in the game. Um, if you let this thing get, you know, plus four, you've lost. Just give up. That's it. Game's over. Um, like, 100%. But you need that speed um, to make sure you don't lose to things like um, uh, Mamoswine, um, Landorus T, things like that. You want to outspeed Pokemon like that. So you will actually generally see... Um, where is it? See, this one I know. I just can't find it. Tim it. There it is. Um... <laughs> Generally, you will see this. Um, and then you have Latios. Oh, I deleted it. No, my Jirachi. Jirachi, no. I loved you, Jirachi. You were so good. Um, let's just set that one back up. Sorry, guys. I'm bad. I deleted Jirachi. I also can't spell right now because it's, like, late. Um, I'm recording this way later than I should be. Um, I should also point out, occasionally you will see, instead of substitute, you'll see wish, so that it can heal itself. Uh, um, both are reasonably common. Wish also very helps support the rest of the team, because nothing else on the team actually has its own healing move. Um, there's Timid. Um, Latios, generally only going to run one set. Where is that timid? This is generally the set you will always see on every Latios ever. Um, no matter what rain team you run up against, this is what you're going to see. Um, uh, because it's a rain team, the last move tends to be kind of um, random. <laughs> or not, not the last move. Um, the move set tends to be a little random. Uh, a lot of the times on Latios you'll see stuff like um, 
HP fire or things like that to hit, uh, to get through Ferrothorn or Scizor. But, uh, because of the rain, that's not really gonna work. Instead, they rely on, uh, Thunder, stuff like that. Instead, they rely on Thunder and Surf for that pseudo-stab on Thurf, 100% accuracy on Thunder. Um, and they let other Pokemon deal with the things they can't get through. Um, so this is a, this is, this is a bulky rain team. Um, I'm not gonna be going over all of the, the, the types of rain teams, but... I wanted to build this team, I wanted to show you building this team, I wanted, you know, to help explain this team, I want, um, and really help you understand what a, what a very, um, but what a very well made, well thought out team this was. This is not a team I made, mind you, this is just a team I see a lot, and I understand why it is. Um, <coughs> so you have things like bulky Politoed, um, right here, it's very slow, but it's, it's bulky, it can take hits, sets up rain. You've got very fast attackers in Latios, Keldeo, and Thunderous, as well as a bulky setup sweeper in Jirachi, and a wall, like an absolute wall in Ferrothorn. But it goes even further. Um, just because Ferrothorn is your only wall doesn't mean you're out of luck without Ferrothorn. Everything here, everything here synergizes so well. They cover each other's weaknesses so well. There's no, sh there's no real shared weakness. There's no one Pokemon that can just come in on this this team and we'll be able to absolutely destroy it no matter what combination of four moves they have um, they're either going to be they're either going to be too slow to get past things like Scarf Latios and uh, Keldeo not strong enough to get past past the Pokemon or they're just not going to have the type coverage um, there's no real weakness to a team like this um, you've covered your you've covered your weakness as well You've got good type com combinations. Um, someone might someone might say to you, "Well, this team really lacks a strong physical physical attacker," but <coughs> that's made up for by the fact that you've got a setup sweet burn Jirachi who can uh, set up uh, Psy Shock, which acts like a physical attack. You've got Keldeo, who's got Secret Sword, another attack that acts like a physical attack, and Latios's um, Psy, uh, Psy Shock. You don't really have to rely on on physical attacks. Um, not just that, a lot of special defensive walls still can't stand up to things like Nasty Plot Thundurus or just uh, Hydro Pump from Keldeo. Um, because things like Blissey, things like Chansey aren't as common nowadays. Instead it's more like mixed walls, it's stuff like Ferrothorn, it's stuff like Jellicent, it's stuff like um, I always forget this Pokemon's name because it's never supposed. It never should have been OU Gastrodon. There you go. Um, and those Pokemon can do well with some of the Pokemon on this team, but there's always something else on the team that deals with that. Um, it doesn't have a. It doesn't have a strong weakness to things like spikes or stealth rocks. Nothing on this team is. Oh, I take that back. Only Thundurus is weak to stealth rocks, but Keldeo, Ferrothorn, and Jirachi all resist it. Um, Thunderous and Latios are immune to spikes. Um, the biggest thing on this team actually is its, uh, in terms of uh, entry hazards, is spikes. Uh, the, you have four Pokemon that are actually um, damaged by spikes in Politoed, Keldeo, Ferrothorn, and Jirachi. Um, toxic spikes, you only have two Pokemon, Keldeo and Politoed. Thunderous and Latios have Levitate, so they get over it. Or, no, I'm sorry. Thunderous is a flying type, Latios has Levitate. Jirachi and Ferrothorn are steel types, so they're immune to poison. Um, so you don't have a big, like, crippling um, entry hazard weakness. Um, there's not a lot of things that can set up and set up and beat you, like um, Dragon Dance Pokemon, like Dragon Dance Dragonite, Dragon Dance um, Gyarados, Dragon Dance Haxorus, all lose to Latios. They're not Latios is the fastest dragon Pokemon in the tier. Um, you don't, ha um, and even then most of them also lose to, uh, Caldeo. Uh, nothing can, none of them outspeeds Caldeo, so you have two really good checks to, to common, common dragon type Pokemon. Um, I can't, I can't, ex <coughs> I can't say this enough. This team is extremely, extremely well made. Um, everything is generally bulky. You have, Thunderous and Caldeo aren't super, super bulky, but, um, 
but they can still take resisted hits very well. Thunders has an immunity, which is always great. Actually, Thunders has two immunities. He has electric and ground, and in fact, he gets healed by electric electric attacks. Um, you don't share, um, you don't share, you know, common weaknesses, obviously. Um, your really, really bulk, bulky Pokemon, Ferrothorn, is only really weak to, um, um, fire, fire attacks, and even then, uh, it needs to be, like, a stab, very powerful special attacking fire attack to even hope to one-hit KO Ferrothorn, and even then it probably won't because of the rain. Um, you have no, you have absolutely no priority weakness on this team. Um, Bullet Punch, the most common priority move from, uh, from Scissor, only hits one Pokemon on this team neutrally. Everything else resists it. Um, Extreme Speed is resisted by two Pokemon on this team. Um, Mock Punch is resisted by... I was about to say three types on this team, but that's actually not true. Um, I forgot... I forgot that Dr Drachi does not resist that move. Um, the only... <coughs> the only real... Um, the only real weakness to this team, I'd have to say, is like, um, I, I want to say like, uh, Breloom, because that's what I always use to get around a team like this. I just, I just set up on Ferrothorn, because it works. Um, but even then, like, if you're predicting a Spore, you can just switch in Thunderous, and then suddenly you're fine. Um, because, you know, you got that Lumberry heal, and now it just has to take it, take a hit from you. What's it going to do? Um... The team has answers to everything, and this is what you need when you build a good team, um, or when you're building a team. You want team uh, a team that synergizes well, a team that doesn't have a huge amount of weaknesses, things like that, um, and this is what this team has. Um, now, I say all of this, um, but you may you may go back and think about my uh, my actual team. Ah, there we go. The team you always see me running here, which is Metagross, Scizor, Tyranitar, Infernate, Breloom, Zapdos. Uh, this fourth gen team here. This team barely, if if at all, like follows what I said for all of that. Uh, for all of that. Uh, begin for all of the like 35 minutes I was just talking about that team. Uh, <coughs> This team shares a bunch of weaknesses. I've got, like, three ground weaknesses. I've got, uh, two ice weaknesses. I don't have a... I don't really have an ice resist past Scizor if Metagross dies. Um, stuff like... Uh, the reason... And that gets me to my next point. The reason I didn't use this this team is because I'm going to talk about more about this team when I talk about linear teams versus non-linear teams. Um... Because this team here, the the, uh, the Pokemon 101 Rain team, as I will be, re I guess I will be referring to it, because that's the name I gave it. Um, this is an extremely linear team. Um, <coughs> even if we're running one of the sets, I'm like one of the t teams I'm not um, that I haven't been showing off here. Like, if this was Specs Toad and uh, Scarf Thundurus and Calm Mind Keldeo and things like that, even then the team is very 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 linear, very straightforward. Um, and that, that actually is probably its biggest weakness, but that's going to be a, uh, that's going to be a different lesson for you guys. Um, when we talk about, um, linear versus non-linear teams, <coughs> um, don't, don't get ahead of me though. I'm not going to say that a linear team is bad. I'm not going to say this team is bad. Um, in fact, if you want to steal this team and run this team, if you've never played Pokemon before, uh, if you're just getting into it, if this is, this is, you're watching this video specifically to learn how to play, go ahead and play this team. Um, all of its moves really should seem obvious when playing it. Um, very few things are going to attack Politoed that can also, like, for instance, damage Ferrothorn. Let's just put it like that. Um... 
you can play this team very simply, very linearly, and it will work wonders for you. So if you if you're getting into fifth gen Pokemon, this is a team I very, very much suggest. It's very high tier, it's very usable, it's very linear, that makes it very easy to use. Um, I say it's a weakness, but it is also a strength. Um, but, but uh, as I was saying before, and I guess as I'll, I'll close off this lesson, this is a team that encapsulates what you want when you're building a team. That team synergy, that type coverage, um, that team support, all of that stuff right there. Um, everything here works extremely well with everything else. That's what you want when you build a team. You don't want a team of, you know, four Pokemon that are all one hit KO'd by, uh, you know, a single fire attack. You don't want, you don't want Ferrothorn, Scizor, and Fortress all on your same team. Because uh, they'll all die to one Pokemon using the same attack. Um, you don't want a team that's, um, you know, four Pokemon that are weak to uh, Scissor's Bullet Punch. Things like that. Um, <coughs> that's something else that I'll get into when I talk about more advanced team building. Um, is sort of understanding the meta when building a team. Like, for instance, this team, it... It works exceptionally well against the meta, but it doesn't really feel like it was made because of the meta. It just made because it was, um, because all of these Pokemon work extremely well. That's another linear versus non-linear thing. Um, but, um, but again, like I said, this team does everything, everything it wants to do extremely well. Um, now this will never, this will not always happen when you build a team. Um, teams always require playtesting. Uh, you'll build a team, and you'll go in, and you'll play it, and maybe you'll do extremely well, five or six games, and then on that seventh game, you'll run into a Pokemon you haven't run into, with a, or a set you haven't run into, and it may absolutely decimate you. You might have no idea how to deal with it with your current team. That's when, <coughs> that's when you start tweaking, you start changing things. Um, it never hurts to change Pokemon. Um, and like I said, even this team, you'll see plenty of variations of it. You'll see these four Pokemon frequently on rain teams. But like these two here, these two will change. Latios and Jirachi will change with extreme frequency. You'll see a lot of other, a lot of other Pokemon in these last two spots, and that's fine. Um, <coughs> you're always looking for what you feel works best with your team. Um, never be afraid to switch things up, change things. Just check out how new things work. Um, always, always play test a team. Um, after you build it, always, always change what you feel needs to be changed, and if it doesn't work, feel free to change it again. Um, that is definitely the most basic idea when it comes to team building. Um, but I don't really have much else to say, um, at least not when it comes to comes to the super basics of team building. Um, I think in the next video. We'll cover more advanced. Uh, we'll cover more advanced team building uh, subjects, linear versus non-linear, uh, common threats, things like that. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Pink Reaper signing out.